Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News for the Best. In our series, Politics of Africa and Historical Antecedents Today, let us look at the brutal assassination of William Talbot of Liberia. William Richard Talbot was a renowned Liberian politician who served as the 20th president of Liberia. He ruled from 1971 until 1980. Talbot was born on 13th May 1913 in Liberia, an Americo-Liberian family of African-American descent. He was trained as a civil servant before entering the House of Representatives in 1943 for the True Whig Party, then the only established party in Liberia. Talbot was elected the 23rd Vice President of Liberia to William Tubman in 1952 and served in that position until he became President following Tubman's death in 1971. Talbot's early presidency saw liberal reforms and the adoption of a non-alignment stance, but growing economic troubles and tensions between American Liberians and indigenous Liberians led to instability in the country. To the outside world, the peaceful transfer of power was seen as a sign of continuing political stability in Liberia, a stark contrast with the political turmoil gripping much of the rest of Africa at the time. However, Liberia was effectively a one-party state, with a national legislature and judiciary subservient to the executive branch and only limited observation of civil liberties. Though Talbot was re-elected in 1975, his government was criticized sharply for failing to address the deep economic disparities between different sectors of the population. Notably, the Americo Liberians who dominated the country since independence and the various indigenous ethnic groups which constituted the majority of the population. For some reasons, because Tobert was a member of one of the most affluent and influential American Liberian families, everything from cabinet appointment to economic policy was tainted with allegation of nepotism. One thing that is important is, Tobert was the second Liberian president after Stephen Benson to speak an indigenous language, and he promoted a program to bring more indigenous persons into the government. This initiative caused American Liberians to sadly accuse Talbot of letting the peasants into the kitchen. Talbot refused to follow his predecessors hold on to power until his death. He successfully worked for a constitutional amendment to bar the president from serving more than eight years in office, though this created a lot of problems for him even from his own party members. There were many riots, including rice riots, ritual killings, and agitations. In fact, the goods that William Talbot thought he was doing gave birth to the evils that led to his fall. In March 1980, Talbot ordered the burning of the PAL and had Gabriel Matthews and the rest of the organization's leadership arrested on charges of treason. In the early hours of 12 April 1980, 17 non-commissioned officers and soldiers of the armed forces of Liberia, led by Sergeant Samuel Doe, launched a violent coup and overthrew the government of William Talbot. The group entered the presidential palace and executed William Talbot, and his body was dumped into a mass grave together with 27 other victims of the coup. A crowd of angry Liberians gathered to shout insults and throw rocks at the body of their own one-time president. In fact, that was the humiliating end of William Talbot of Liberia. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Please kindly subscribe to this channel one forum news for the best. Thank you.